I don't understand. Why is it? Maybe this camera's not good. Can you plug in the other one? Yeah, I've got the other one right here. Hi, it's Stacey at So Steady, and we are just working out a couple of kinks with our equipment here. Thanks for bearing with us. Um, let's see. I'm going to close out of this. I'm going to do a slideshow. And then in show. Okay. Um, so we are excited to be live here today where we're going to be sharing what's going on in our classroom. Um, Mindy has been busy making quilts and just, she's got a couple of um, amazing quilt cool options for you. So we were going to go ahead and show them to you live, but of course, as always happens, the camera isn't working. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and start by showing you the pictures that we took and then um, we'll have the opportunity to dive over to um, the live quilt here shortly and show you that option as well. So thank you again for uh, bearing with us as we jump over to that here momentarily. Um, so what we're going to go ahead and start off with is looking at the ruler work project that uh, Mindy has actually been in the middle of. And then we have one other project that we're excited to share with you. Um, and so you get to choose between those two projects. So the first project that we're showing you today is going to be, it's called our uh, Alyssa's Cornerstone Project. And so this is um, a quilt. It's just a, a basic, um, what would you call this type of quilt, Mom? Maybe a, a um, pretty simple construction with a cornerstone block. Um, and as you can see in the way that they're put together, it creates a really neat uh, little design. So um, this quilt has, um, is made for a twin size quilt overall. And of course, depending on your color variations, you can get some really exciting options with that as well. So let me go ahead and present to you the color variation options uh, um, that you would be able to choose from. And um, she's going to go ahead and set up the camera right now so we can go ahead and present those other options. So let's take a look again at um, the cornerstone quilt. And hopefully, we'll be able to present that to you and live here momentarily. I can't get the There it is. All right. And so, um, again, that quilt, let me go ahead and show you some of the variations on that. And um, that quilt, again, uh, we have the opportunity of making um, this with, uh, basically, it's pretty simple construction. She used eight and a half inch squares in the center, um, two and a half or four and a half by two and a half inch size pieces. seeing me now and then the sound cut out there a minute uh, a little bit ago and so let's see if we can get that camera working here okay the webcam is maybe it's a cord Let's see the extension cord isn't working. How far can we make this go? Uh, not very far. Okay. Can you bring that camera back here a little closer and we can just have it attached over here? Sorry guys, we're trying to get the quilt on display for you. And we were trying to use the USB extension cord so we could actually have you dive into the direct. Thank you. 
cutting in and out, so I think what we're going to be best off at doing here is probably just going back to the old phone method and hoping for good internet. Because we're not able to show people since it's not liking the camera functions on here. And we thought we had this dialed in for you guys, and unfortunately, not quite. All right. So this camera is showing. Let's see if I can um, make it showing a big picture for you. There, we've got it working. All right, say hi to the camera, Mindy. Hi, guys. Yay. <laughs> Thanks for bearing with us, everyone, while we figure this out. Where was our IT staff? Yeah, well, so we have, we're going to show you basically the full, two different quilt options right now. Um, and it looks like the camera cut out again, so I'm just going to go ahead and pull it. Oh, there phone. it is. Oh, she's back. No, nope, um, they're cut out again. So let's just go ahead and pull it up on the phone, and we won't do it this way. Do you have the option for clipping? For clipping. I guess I'll just hold it. <laughs> Do you have? I, yeah, okay. I didn't understand what you were looking for. There we go. All right. So let me go ahead and flip my camera around. And <clears throat> we will go sideways and now we're going to go ahead and okay. have Mendy present to you. All right. Uh, Stacy said that we were uh, going to get into some piecing and ruler work projects and over the course of the last few months I've had a couple that I've been working on that I think would be of interest to you guys. Uh, let's start
All right, can people hear me now? Yes, yep, roger that, we hear you. Yay, okay. So I think we got some of our audio issues figured out. So we're gonna go ahead and just start over here. Um, what we're presenting to you today is a couple of different ruler work um, and patchwork combined projects that we have the opportunity to go ahead and um, do a quilt along with you for. So the first one is the Not Quite a Log Cabin, and that's the amazing quilt that you see right here. Mindy finished this quilt in, I think, November of this last year. Um, and this is actually an original pattern by Leone West. And so, Mindy, if you want to kind of go over and describe this quilt to them again, Sure. And so this is the first quilt that we're presenting as an opportunity. So basically you start with the basic uh, log cabin uh, quilt pattern and then you morph it into not quite a log cabin. So uh, this is pretty easy to make. I will say the most challenging is obviously the precision of getting all your seams exactly right so you have a square block to work with and then this would be considered a true patchwork project where you yeah. use the you use the suspension system to quilt it mm -hmm. you quilted the entire quilt top at the same time and is this a king size quilt top this is so this was used with she quilted this with the suspension system and she um put it just a, a basic backing on the back of it we didn't do this as a quilt as you go so go ahead and show them the I back i actually think this is queen size not queen size, size. Okay, so go ahead and show us the back. So the quilting that she did on this. Um, I basically used one template. Just one template. She really felt like, um, you know, the quilting could be a little bit more minimized because of, and I'm just going to come around and kind of show them. This would be like a, a, the center block design. You can kind of see that above. And I connected so you can see. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's okay. All right. So you can see that uh, I would start here and then I would connect tip to tip. And that's all based upon where the block is. Yeah, you quilted on the front. So quilted on the front. Mm -hmm. I use the center points of this to go up and across on the quilt. Mm -hmm. And then this is the aftermath of uh -huh. what that looks like on the back. Correct. So this would be the center design. And then on the in the middle where there were no blocks uh, more of just that kind of well if you show this see you have a huge center here mm -hmm. so the whole the whole quilt was uh quilted from top to bottom in the center and then in the uh squares on the four corners so you can kind of kind of so back the, away and so really the understand design goes vertical and horizontal which i think this is a gorgeous patchwork quilt i'm really really excited about the opportunity to see this done if people are willing to take on the challenge of doing a full patchwork project um and then of course quilting it like with the suspension system at the end so this is option one and then option two, we actually shared earlier, uh, we had that in the form of the picture to see the full final, what the full final quilt will look like, but that is actually quilt as you go. So now we're going to describe it to you and we're going to show you each of the blocks. That's what we were doing earlier when we weren't, <laughs> when you couldn't hear us, we were actually describing each of the block layout. So once you lay it out, like we did before. All right. And then we'll do the quilting second. So, so first we're gonna show you how the patchwork happened. Let me, let me call, as you called it, my chicken scratch. Okay, so this is the final block. Every There's 35 of these blocks to make a twin size quilt. So this is a final block size of 11 and a half inches, mm -hmm. 35 times. So we have five rows, seven blocks down. And uh, what I did, is I did the same quilt design all the of the border all the way around. And then I did the same quilt design on row two and row four. And then on row three, which is the center block, I have two unique quilt uh, patterns that I did and there. When we're talking about that, we're talking about the quilting designs. So right the now- The patchwork is all the same. Patchwork is the same, every single one of these, seven rows. But, but what is unique about this five rows. is that it is a reversible quilt, meaning that I didn't just use a quilt back. 
I used um, fat quarters that I had here. And so once I had done the front, I still had uh, leftovers from the fat quarters that I was able to augment with just a little bit of fabric. And so I was able to make uh, another quilt on the back. So this is a reversible quilt. So um, let's go ahead and show them the front and then we'll talk about the designs and then we can show the reverse and what those, what okay. that's gonna look like. So design four is mm -hmm. the first one. First, mm -hmm. That's this one. So that's the border that goes all the way around the block. Okay, so that's mm. done seven times? No, uh, no, that's done like, well, you're going to get really good at this design, guys. This yeah. is using Spinifex so 15. It's 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 times. 19 of these blocks are quilted with this template. Um, of course, you could use any template that you have that's similar. This is a nine and a half inch block um, or quilt design. And she was trying to keep the quilt designs predominantly in that center square. So it's an eight and a half inch center square. You can see how those points are going into the border itself. Uh, but overall, that's an eight and a half inch. And after seam allowances, I guess that's an eight inch square. Mm -hmm. um, and so you can kind of see how that's lending into the bleeding into the corners. Um, okay, so that's the design, that, the quilt design that you've done. Mm -hmm. You did a whole lot of those because that goes all the way around the all, quilt. That's the whole border of the quilt. Okay. So then in row two and row four, I did this design, which is... Right there. This one. Okay, so row two and four, she used Artisan Curve 75. And again, I think that this would really be a fun way to be able to use a lot of different uh, templates that are in your line. So you can love this quilt design, but you could also say, hey, I have other quilt designs that are about, you know, that seven inch size that I could do that with. And then she also used the circles on quilts nine and a half inch. So again, if you have the circles on quilts, great, but there's other ways to do the quilting on that too. And as we dive into this project, we'll be able to talk about those ways. All right. Okay. And then. And so that was repeated seven times, that, five times. That was repeated one, two, three, four, five, ten times. Ten times you do this quilt design. Mm-hmm. And then in row three, which is the center row, the top row is that border design. But then we have two different designs here, which are these two. And this is design two is this one. Okay. That's design two. And how many of design two do we end up doing? Uh, design two I did three times. Okay, and that's spin effects number 15, five and a half inch. And that's just that center design there. And then nine and a half inch on the outside points, I assume. Mm -hmm. So the outside points are nine and a half inch. The five and a half inch is that center design. Okay. And then this one. I did twice. And I love this design. So this design is the uh, circles on quilts. 14 five and a half inch design using a circle all the way around and then half inch between the lines in the corners so that's a really fun project um and again yeah you can be the expert on the designs uh, but we love the ability to be able to show you kind of give you inspired on you know what different possibilities you can create so overall we had four different quilt designs used in this um and one patchwork block 35 times so i would consider this kind of a beginner well it's a quick and easy one that's for sure mm -hmm. so um we want you to choose we want you guys to tell us which of these quilts do you want to um, do as a quilt along with us where we'll kind of take you through the steps and um, then, you know, kind of piece this together as we go and have this over, you know, a, a few weeks for you to be able to, to do with us. So we'll have the ability to, to provide you fabric um, uh, yardage and all those details on both of the projects and some basic assembly instructions and then, of course, the video. So let us know which one you're excited to do. Do you want to do the not quite a log cabin or do you want to do the cornerstone 
We're calling it Alyssa's Cornerstone because what you didn't hear because we were muted is the very touching story about where this quilt was kind of came from, which is the goal of uh, creating my daughter, her granddaughter, um, her dorm room quilt. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> for her uh, twin size dorm room quilt. So that's what we're creating with this project. So excited to um, hear from you. I think we saw some folks that are excited to uh, do a quilt as you go project. Um, I am seeing that um, that's kind of winning out so far. They're loving the cornerstone quilt. This is again, the not quite a log cabin quilt. This is where we would do all of the patchwork um, and then we would go ahead and um, quilt this as a um, kind of, a, this is a queen size quilt. So you would quilt this all at once using your suspension system um, or other method. So we'll be using the suspension system here to, to keep that quilting going. So let us know which one you're most excited about, Alyssa's Cornerstone. I think that the Alyssa's Cornerstone is winning. Okay. So we're excited about this because it is a quick and easy project and um, Minnie's got places to go and people to see. So, <laughs> so we're going to provide you all with um, the details on this project. So we'll get you um, kind of the fabric requirements and that sort of thing. And then uh, we'll be able to create the simple assembly instruction video for you next week. Um, and then we'll do the quilting video separate as well. And then we want to see what you guys do with this. So you have to put it out on Westerly by me um, and share with us all of your different variations of Alyssa's Cornerstone quilt. So again, we'll go ahead and post the images to um, what that final quilt will look like to the feed here. So you can kind of all know what we're going to be up to over the next couple of Wednesdays. And we'll look forward to having you join us. And we promise, promise, we will have our video feed worked out before then so we're not like trying to figure this out before um so next week we will get the yardage we're gonna um we'll go ahead and email out and then post the yardage to the feed today and so you have forget that, that a, a fat quarter uh bundle is a great use of for this project so just grab a fat quarter bundle yeah perfect you, what you'll have to do is augment it and buy the fabric for that okay for the, for the borders. Oh, fabric for the border separate. Okay. Back quarter bundle though for the center, the eight, eight and a half inch centers. Because they are all coordinating fabrics. Yeah, that's perfect. That would be great. So we'll be providing um, some basic yardage instructions. We're going to call it a supply list. And then um, some basic block assembly instructions will be coming your way as well. And then finally, we'll be doing some videos with you guys. So join us here again on Wednesday Wonders. And we'll be doing that again this next week. Um, but in the meantime, we'll post all of the yardage requirements. And uh, we'll have that information. We'll e email that out and then post it again on these um, the chats in here as well. So that should take care of it, guys. Thank you so much for bearing with us today. Oh, somebody asked how many in the fat quarter bundle? Uh, gosh, what was it? Let's see here. Uh, you need 35 and I got two. So I would say you need at least uh, 16. And this, this bundle is 14, so you might have to augment, but my, the bundle I had, and I'm sorry, I tore it apart. I didn't keep the uh, details of it, but I had plenty in the bundle that I had. This is, this is my next quilt. Oh, gorgeous. <laughs> this is the one I'm going to do uh, with you guys. Okay. By the time next, this, this one will be done. So we'll have a finished quilt to be inspired by, and then we'll start assembling the next quilt. And those are the colors. So you're going to be using kind of brown, white tones. Uh, this will be black and white with, uh, with shiny. Shiny gold, guys. Oh, this is going to be gorgeous. All right. So Minnie's, Minnie's stepping up her game with this next quilt. Are you going to be doing the twin size again? No, I'll probably do it bigger. Okay, so, so do you want to provide yardage for multiple sizes then? Yes. 
We will. Okay. So we're going to provide yardage for multiple sizes. So uh, be looking for that. We're going to post it in the comments. So you're going to see it in the comments on YouTube, Facebook, and Wesley by me. So we'll post it in all three places, guys. If you have no sound, just go ahead and refresh your browser because we worked out the sound, I promise. <laughs> but here's an example uh, where I'm going to combine these two bundles and they're not even the same, but they complement each other. Okay, perfect. So. Excellent. Well, that's absolutely gorgeous. I love the colors on that one. I might even follow along on this one and do a quilt as you go. So I can't wait. Thank you so much. And um, we'll be providing yardage for multiple sizes of quilts. So if you decide you want to go big or go a little smaller, you can do that too. So again, thanks everyone for joining us. We'll look forward to seeing everyone next Wednesday, Wednesday Wonders, where we dive into Alyssa's Cornerstone Quilt. Have a wonderful afternoon. Bye guys.